Good morning everyone, Joe Neat here, executive producer on Sea of Thieves with another weekly dev update. So this week, uh, the holidays have come to Sea of Thieves, as evidenced by my wonderful t-shirt. Uh, and what this means is that the Pirate Lord himself uh, is gifting players with gilded voyages uh, in this week's update. Uh, and so what these are is they're special a one-off voyage that everybody can go and get. So if you go to Duke at any outpost, he will gift you with a gilded voyage of your choice with whichever trading company you want to take one with. You do only get one. So make sure that you choose the one with the trading company that you want, uh, but also that when you choose to use it, uh, like you've got some time ahead of you to go out and, um, and take part in this kind of lengthy but very high value voyage uh, and make sure you don't accidentally discard it because once it's gone, it's gone forever. The gilded gifts are just our way of saying thank you to everybody and us celebrating the holiday season. Uh, and so the Shrouded Spoils campaign still continues. And so up, up until early January, you're gonna have a chance to earn the Waning Barnacle cosmetics. So you've still got quite a lot of time to go out and earn those. So aside from that, those of you that have been following us on uh, social media will have seen that I was out in Bilbao over the, um, the weekend and I was at the Fun and Serious Games Festival, which was actually an amazing festival to be invited to, to and to go and do a talk a little bit about creating a new type of multiplayer game. But it was amazing to see the kind of vibrancy and the excitement and the buzz around a festival like this in, uh, in Spain. There were so many people came and attended, so many great indie um, developers and games that they had playable on the show floor. Um, just. An, just an amazing experience all up. So it was a real privilege to be invited to the Fun and Serious um, Games Festival. It was also amazing, as always, to meet fans of, of Sea of Thieves. So for everyone that came and said hello, um, grabbed a photo or, or just wanted to talk about the game and, and give us some feedback, amazing to see you. Thanks so much for taking the time and making the effort to, um, to come to Bilbao. Uh, and we were also uh, nominated for a couple of awards uh, during the Fun and Serious Game Awards that they had on, on the Monday night at the uh, Guggenheim Museum in Bilbao. And we were really fortunate to win one of those, which was the family and social uh, game. And for me, that was really special because, you know, the fact that I went and talked about creating a new type of multiplayer game, it was amazing to see that recognised in the awards, to see that what we've done um, with the design of the game, but also what the community has done to make this a fun and welcoming game and to play this in the spirit that we always envisaged uh, for Sea of Thieves, to see that recognised in terms of a family and a social award was, was amazing. And actually during the kind of acceptance speech, which I kind of made up um, just a little bit beforehand in case we did win, um, it was, I was asked a question by, uh, in an interview the day before around with Sea of Thieves being such a social game, being a game that's focused around its uh, community, like what was more important to me? Was it the development team working on the game, or was it the community of Sea of Thieves and, and the players? And I've never been asked a question like that before, and it stumped me for a little bit, but it, it, and then I thought about it, it quickly became apparent that it's of equal importance, because without the development team you wouldn't have the experience, but without the community you kind of wouldn't have the game either, and the fact that we had this vision for this multiplayer game, but we've given such freedom, you know, the tools, not walls ethos for, for Sea of Thieves. And to see that play out and to have this amazing community, this positive community that's playing the game, that's sharing the stories and doing everything that we always dreamed, um, you know, they, they are of equal importance. And so for me, winning that award, um, you know, the family and, and social uh, game award, like, that was for all of us. That was for us here at the studio, but it was also for everybody that's out there playing Sea of Thieves and playing in the way we always envisioned. So, you know, congratulations to you, congratulations to, to everyone involved, um, and really looking forward to how we continue to grow, evolve the game, but with, with you at the heart of it. So, um, yeah, thank you for all of your contributions so far and for, for bringing Sea of Thieves to where it is, you know, today as we, as we head into kind of the holiday season and into the new year and all the stuff that we've got planned beyond. So, um, thanks for, for everything and I'll see you on the seas. Cheers. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to stay up to date with everything Sea of Thieves, then subscribe to our channel and click that little ship's bell for all those notifications. Cheers. Don't worry, Elle. I'll, I'll just wait here. I'm not doing, not doing much anyway. A couple of, couple of good videos there if you want to watch.